Hello everyone, welcome to Mikanto Reviews and Cashback Discounts. We have the best cashback deals online guaranteed. We price match any affiliate that is offering better cashback than my 25% on the front end and OTO number one. And it's exactly what it sounds like it means when you when you purchase a product through my review page, um, I earn a commission and I'm splitting that commission with you 50-50. Um, at the end of your refund period, I issue cash back to your PayPal account, and it's as simple as that. So, um, today we're doing a video on Pixel Studio FX3. As indicated in the title, this is the third installment of Pixel Studio FX, which has been a very successful, um, excuse me, it's been very successful since its uh, initial launch in, uh, I believe, September of. 2015 and uh, the, the way in which I've measured its success is, is, is in the fact that it's had it has 13,000 users to date over 13,000 users and you know I, I think we've all purchased products where we buy it and it kind of just sits on our hard drive forever and you know it was hyped up it sounded great when we bought it but once we kind of actually have it and we're looking at it we realize there's not a whole lot to make use of with that product and it kind of just sits on our hard drive and we realize oh man we we fell to another good sales page or or rather we fell for another good set uh, sales page and bought the product um only to find out it's not everything that it was cracked up, up to be so anyways um in this case you know 13,000 users and they've been using the product because there's been over 200,000 e-covers created to date with Pixel Studio FX3 which kind of shows you this has been a go-to tool for the people that have purchased it satisfied customers and each version has been you know delivering more than the last um, so what you get with the front-end product I mean this is astonishing just the volume of uh, e-cover templates that you're getting here 32,000 over 32,000 e-covers eight over 8,000 stock images over 6,000 web icons 300 plus fonts so all together what this does is um, allows you to create these very professional um, e-covers that are really going to help your campaigns um, of course, professional professionalism is always going to help you make more money. So these are actually all e-covers that were created with Pixel Studio uh, FX, Pixel Studio FX3. Um, and as you'll see in the official demo video that I'm going to move into right now, or in, in a few moments, anyways, you're going to see how easy it is to use this product and just how much you have to choose from. I mean, this is the type of tool that you want to have in your arsenal. Um, the best part about this is if you purchase a Pixel Studio FX3 during the launch week, this is normally a monthly subscription product, but if you purchase Pixel Studio FX3 during the launch week, you're going to get it for a one-time payment. You, you get life, sorry, you get lifetime access with just one payment monthly fees are completely waived and you're saving a ton of money on top of that my exclusive 25 percent cash back offer is on the table you will not find that anywhere else this is my bonus and my incentive to you it is fully explained on my review page which is linked directly below this video and we're looking at it right now so when you go to my review page just review the um, pricing and cash back section everything you need to know is there and to claim your cash back just follow these three steps and you'll be good to go so that's about it let's move over to the official demo video for pixel studio fx3 and remember to check out my review page to claim your cash back after the video um, that again is linked below this video even if you don't um even if you decide not to purchase Pixel Studio FX3, you know, I would truly appreciate it if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, leaving a like, leaving a comment, anything you could do, you know. I have a full-time job and like many of you, I'm just trying to make it as an online marketer, so you know, the support is truly appreciated. You don't have to spend money to help someone out and 
if there's anything I could do to help you out, you know, maybe drop me a line and I, I would be gladly uh, return the favor. Anyways, uh, that is about it for my part of this video. Enjoy the Pixel Studio FX3 demo video coming up right now. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Pixel Studio FX. As soon as you log in, the first thing you'll notice is the simple, elegant, unique interface in which you'll be able to work. This is available in both black and white for those that are looking for something that's a little easier to look at. You'll see right away on the left hand side the different niches. You've got 23 niches in total. Depending on the niche that you select, it's going to give you different options. These are done for you covers that Pixel Studio FX comes with. For example, when you start with an e-cover, you can go ahead and do anything you want. So let's go ahead and pick an e-cover and we'll be immediately taken to the styles. These are 12 unique styles that you can use from 3D boxes, 3D boxes with a CD, just the CD-ROM, to the magazine cover, to iPads, to more of a physical or hardcover book, and so much more. In fact, we even have a Kindle option. So we'll go ahead and pick the traditional 3D cover for now. Once you click on it, you'll be taken straight into our editing tool. First thing you'll notice, on the left hand side you can zoom in and out, allowing you to look at the template. We've got grids so that you can look at lining up your various elements. On the right hand side you've got tons of different options. The first thing you'll notice is that on the far right hand side you'll see all sorts of different options from fonts, training, clip art, and so much more. So let's go ahead and pick some clip art real quick. As soon as I click on that option, you'll notice that we've got all of these preloaded in here for your use. These are all royalty free, so they won't cost anything to use on your items. On top of that, we've got colored items and shapes as well. So in this case, let's just pick one of these and you'll notice right away that I can go ahead and just add it in here and start resizing and moving it around. The template we're using is just a blank one, so we'll go ahead and use this image that looks like a bank vault. So I'll click here and I'll change this to Jimmy's demo and hit apply. As you can see, it's too big. So we can go ahead and change the font either by going here and adjusting it, or we can go ahead and pull it here automatically as well. So I went ahead and adjusted it just a hair so it fits. You can add a subtitle here. I'll just put bank vault for simplicity and we'll go ahead and line it up under Jimmy's demo so it looks nice. You've got your title on the left hand side. This was done just by switching the vertical direction of it. With positioning, you can go out and change it all around wherever you want, or you can just put in an exact number like the 90% that was originally here. So let's go ahead and put it at 90, where it was before. Once you're done, you can start making other changes. So the cool thing is, we've made this like Photoshop. It's very, very good in layers, and it does all the things you want. Everything from applying an action for brightness, contrast, saturation, vibrancy, sharpen, hue, sepia, gamma noise, or blur. Or you can even go ahead and apply a preset filter so you can start changing the color and the look of it at any time. In fact, we even have a colorizer to help you randomize this. So if you feel that an image is too generic and you want to change it, you can click on background here and it's going to go ahead and start changing the colors and give you different color options while still maintaining a background. By changing that, you'll see that I immediately changed it to a different look. Next, we've got transparency. This is pretty fun. I'm sure you've seen this before where it looks like it's almost faded into the background and you want to write something over it. That's called opacity, and we've got that option. Of course, we've also got shadows and reflections, so that you can add your very own shadow right to the bottom of the image. You can go ahead and blur it, you can add more of a shadow if you want to the right hand side, or if you want it on the vertical side, you can put it on the top or the bottom. You can go ahead and change this however you want, as I did here, and go ahead and apply. Once you're done and you've got it applied, you can go ahead and do a number of things. Of course, you can add more text. If you click on the text button here, you can add more text and simply click add text. Now you can change the size and the color. We can go ahead and move it here. I'll make it red so it's easier to see. You can pick one of the automatically inputted fonts and you'll see a demo right away. 
You can even add a shadow to the text if you want. I'll go ahead and apply a shadow, and I'll put it on the horizontal side. So there's the shadow, and now your text pops like you want it, right? So we've made it really simple. You can change things like your background images. You can look at the system background that comes up, and you can always upload your own. That's an important part of Pixel Studio FX. You can absolutely make it your own. We've got the undo button here. We've got support on the right hand side. We've got all of the different options. Once you're ready, you hit this little image here on the top left hand corner and it allows you to preview your image. Once the preview comes up, you've got a few available options. First things first, you'll notice on the right hand side, you can view it in full screen. You can change the background color. You can add a background image, or you can even watermark it. You can also add a reflection or a shadow to your image as well. So you'll see there's a light reflection of your image here now. Your download options are pretty simple. You've got four different options for PNG, JPEG, PDF, or TIFF that you can download. You can download it with or without a background image, depending on your needs. And that's how easy it is. So once I hit download, it's going to pop up. It's going to allow me to download. It's going to give me three different styles and sizes that I can use right away. All right, I hope this gives you a full explanation of how Pixel Studio FX works and how simple and powerful it is with all of the included templates. It's over 250 total templates that you're going to get here today and that you can start using right away. You've got the option to change them and you can use them however you want and grow with them as well. This is one of the highest used tools that I know of from not only just affiliate marketers, but also ebook cover Kindle owners and so forth. So join Pixel Studio FX in confidence and know that you're getting a great tool that you can use. We'll talk to you soon. Now you can't hold it. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie.